All right, so a big double double. I suppose you're very satisfied about your play tonight. Yeah, you know, the thing that I'm most satisfied about is that we won the game. Uh, for me, you know, individual statistics, uh, you just try to help the team uh, however you can. Sometimes that shows up on the stat sheet and sometimes it doesn't. But uh, I think as a team, we can be satisfied that we made a little bit of a step today and uh, to get our first win in front of the home crowd, I think that's a very positive thing. Uh, don't be so modest. There's so many rebounds against European basketball, against a Hungarian team. That's very good. Yeah, I'm not trying to be modest. I just think that's, uh, that's reality. That's the truth. I know that uh, you know, our goal this year is not for individual players to have a, a certain set, to set of statistics or a certain set of accomplishments as, accomplishments as individual, but we want to do something special as a team. And uh, in order to do that, it's, uh, it's about doing all the little things, whether it shows up on the stat sheet or not. And uh, I think as a captain, the best way to be an example for that is to uh, let other guys know that you know, maybe uh, setting good screens or uh, making a good cut or having that, the second last pass before an open shot, those are just as important as something as an assist or a rebound or the points that show up on the stat sheet, so. What a big difference if you compare it with the game on this, uh, Sunday. Yeah, it was, it was a frustrating game on Sunday versus Wola. And, uh, you know, sometimes those, those kind of games uh, open your eyes a bit. And uh, we know we have a lot of things to work on. And uh, we've talked about that stuff and, and we've, we've started to work on that. And, um, we just had to keep making steps. I think uh, you know you never want to be content. You never want to be satisfied, and uh, you can take pride in, in the small steps you're making. But you need to you know maintain that hungry ambition to uh, get better. So just keep going. Hungry ambition. That sounds good. Yeah, it's good. Hungry ambition. Yeah. <laughs> good luck and uh, congratulations. Thank you. Nou Erik, na afgelopen zondag is dit wel even uh, heel erg prettig. Ja, vooral hoe het team reageert. He, veel energie gespeeld, uh, uh, ook verstandig gespeeld. En uh, ja, we zien we dat we heel mooie dingen laten zien. Maar vooral de manier waarop het team uh, samenspeelde en de energie die er vanaf straalde, een echt wereld van verschil. Ja, dat is natuurlijk ook een beetje de omstandigheden met Euro Europees spelen. Maar dit moeten we wel kunnen opbrengen in elke wedstrijd in de Nederlandse competitie ook. Wat vond je van het niveau van het uh, Hongaarse basis? Want je kende de ploeg, althans uh, in het verleden. Hoe, 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 wat vond je? Hoe stonden ze ervoor? Ja, ik, ik dacht, ik had uh, voor, van tevoren eens op video gezien. En ik dacht, het is een goed team. Maar ook net samengesteld. Ook allemaal nieuwe jongens bij elkaar gezet. Dus ik dacht, wel, als we die onder druk kunnen zetten. En we kunnen de guards uh, een beetje het ritme wegnemen bij de guards. Die zijn erg belangrijk voor ze. Dan denk ik dat ze ook moeilijkheden hebben. En dat bleek ook wel zo te zijn. Een belangrijk onderdeel was ook vooral de, uh, de overmacht in rebounds. Ja, dat, dat, laat me zeggen, we zijn lang, we zijn groot. We hebben voor een gedeelte ook met een Ross, heeft uitstekend gedaan. En we hebben ze gedwongen tot veel, nou, denk ik wel slechte schoten. En dat scheelt ook in rebounding. Mooie lijn om op door te beduren, zou ik zo zeggen. Ja, dit is wel echt iets waar we, hè, we hebben gewoon nu voor een wat langere periode goed gespeeld. En dit is wel iets om, om door te zetten. Feestje. Dankjewel. Nee. Hij is de beste in de <laughs> What's this all about? I don't know. I love him. I love him. <laughs> He's a good guy. Yeah? Pass. I love, I love Pass. Him. Pass. Pass. What's up? What's up? Yeah, we can ask you. Uh, hell of a game. You say what? It was a hell of a game. Oh, for sure, for sure, man. Tough, tough game. Well, tough. You, you were in the lead all game. Yeah, but you know, you seen the game that happened Sunday. Yes, we've seen the game that happened Sunday. Yeah. So basically, we came out, we had a little pressure, and you know, tonight we wanted to make sure that we get an advantage and take her home first and get a good start in the Euro Cup. So much energy. It was a completely different game than Sunday. Absolutely, because we had uh, we played better to get to today as a team. You know what I mean? Um, Sunday, I don't know what happened. It was a massacre. So, I mean, I want to you know move forward from that and execute it today, and we got another game Saturday that's important. 25 points game. Uh, very good. Thank you. <laughs> uh, was there something uh, specific for you that you played the European game and you thought, well, we, let's make a lot of points? No, I mean, I just let the game come to me today. You know what I mean? Today was the day for me, I guess. You know what I mean? I made a tough shot in the corner behind the backboard. Yeah, we saw that one, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, just one of them nights for me tonight. And um, I tried to control the tempo as best as I could and make sure that we kept the lead the whole game. How's your body doing? Um, it's, it's, it's all right. You know, I make sure that I recover after the games and stretch and do all the proper procedures to, to keep playing. We'll see each other uh, next week. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir.